Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great and you guys are staying safe at your houses and uh, preventing this uh, COVID-19 outbreak from being worse. Uh, today, I will be giving you guys an update regarding our project, the Underground Fire Placement Equipment Maintenance Plan for this uh, progress report week seven. Um, I know some of you guys uh, that are watching this uh, have, haven't have or do not have an idea of what are we going to be talking about. So I'm going to give you guys an overview throughout the presentation so you guys can understand what we're, what we're talking about and what we are trying to accomplish. So right here in this illustration, we have on our right hand the, the boring machine and our, on our left hand, we have the trench machine. So let's continue on with the presentation. So in terms of the agenda, we're going to be talking about the statement, a quick overview, a quick background for you guys who have, haven't uh, seen or know what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the activity that has been performed and the ones that are ongoing and the ones that are going to be performed. We're going to be talking about problems that we have encountered throughout this um, project. Also, we're going to be talking about the data that we have collected during our fieldwork tests and analysis. And um, we're going to give you guys a conclusion um, on where we at, what our vision is, and what our continuing milestones that we want to accomplish uh, throughout the project. So giving you guys a quick statement overview for you guys, like I said, who haven't seen or don't know what are we going to be talking about. So what is the purpose of this whole maintenance plan for these two equipments? Well, the main purpose is to turn losses into revenue. The company has um, dedicated uh, some resources in order to find a particular project that it's losing lots and lots of money throughout the years in order to turn this into a revenue. So who will this eventually target? Uh, this will target one, the equipments, uh, meaning the longevity of the equipments. This will also target the employees' uh, productivity, meaning the, the employees will have more productive days. They will uh, be uh, much more energetic uh, at work. They're not going to be all uh, slaggy, savvy, and they'll have more dedication to what they're going to be doing. Also, this will increase the equipment's productivity and the main purpose, like we said it above, is to turn losses into uh, revenue. And so once uh, revenue has been accomplished, the goal for the company is to benefit the employees um, in different uh, ways. Uh, there are, uh, at this moment, trying to figure out how they can benefit the employee for the future, upcoming future of them. So a quick summary on how the equipment actually performs and what does it do and whatnot. So as you can see here, we have here in this illustration on the one on top, we have here the boring machine. The main purpose of the boring machine and the trencher that we have down here in the second illustration is that they are going to be varying a piping system, meaning this could be a 2-inch pipe, a 4-inch pipe, a 6-inch pipe, an 8-inch pipe, depending on the contract, depending on the client and what they want to do. But mostly the company that we are trying to turn losses into revenue, there are mainly focusing on uh, burying a PVC piping of 4 inches or P or um, piping of an inch and a half in order to create a passway or route to install fiber optics, quattro cable, and telephone, ca telephone cable, and whatnot. So in terms of the, the, the boring machine we have here in the first illustration, the main purpose is to drill all the way down to a certain depth all in order to deviate from existing communications like the one here shown then we can have here this existing fiber existing quattro cable existing telephone cable and whatnot also we have here the the apprentice of the operator that 
it's going to be telling the operator of the boring machine how much depth it needs to go down and how much uh, how much liquid or equipment or lubricant it needs in order to dissolve any type of uh, um, you can say rock or sediment that's underneath the ground. So in this case, it, it deviated from this communication system and it goes all the way down in order to deviate another facility. In this case, it, it's a water, it, it can be electricity, it can be a gas piping, it can be whatever. So in this case, the, the drilling machine now is gonna resurface and come out to this point right here where they will have a manhole and they will have um, the, a route to begin to install the fiber optic cable all in order to not create a commotion all in order not to block uh, the transit and the main purpose for using the boring machine in this case was to not interrupt the interstate or the traffic that you guys can see here. So in terms of the trencher now, the trencher is a much sturdier job, meaning uh, this, you can um, open up to 12, uh, 12, no, not, uh, I should say, you can open up to four inches wide and you could go down to 36, 42 inches in depth. You can use a trencher machine in order to do the same type of job as a boring machine, but in this case, a trencher machine is much, much, much more least expensive. Why? Because a trencher machine will rupture, will uh, go through green grass, it will go through um, any type of uh, soil, any type of concrete, any type of, you name it. But the main purpose is that using a trencher, you will have a very much dirty work as in right here if you want to create a passage for a piping system you will have to go through the asphalt and in this case you will rupture the asphalt and the company or the municipality will need to damage their roads damage their infrastructure and to have a cleaner job in this case i will be using the boring machine so now that you have a main uh, concept um, what we're trying to explain to you guys, um, these machines have a lot of uh, wear and tear parts that's, that we're analyzing in order to see why are the machines not so productive and how we can make them much more productive. So activities performed and the activities to be performed. So as of, as of today, we have accomplished one, two, three, four milestones. And when you can see here, the number one milestone uh, was to find a perfect project that we have done. Number two was to create an environment of team members, such as SMEs, subject matter experts of each project, so they can have a great view on what we're trying to accomplish. We also have completed an assessment of all the parts needed spare parts, the parts that are all that are always being damaged, that are always being ruptured by the machine. We have committed and we have accomplished this assessment as well. We have committed to the data collection and how we analyze how um, productive, the availability, the performance and the quality of the equipment. So as of right now, April 17 to May 2nd, we are ongoing in the creation and the revision of the maintenance plans, of the maintenance plan. Once this is done, we're gonna be performing the, the, the presentation towards our management so they can improve if, we, if the documentation we have created caters towards our operators. And once this document is approved, we will then implement the maintenance plan towards our operators for training and then implementing for field equipment work. So as you can see here, the data data collected, we um, we did a collection of data 
in order to calculate the overall equipment effectiveness. As you can see here, this uh, involves the availability, the performance, and the quality yield. So in our equipment, um, we obtain an availability for our transfer and boring machine of 83%. So if we look at the chart, the standards right now are 83% is less than 89%. So we place ourselves for availability, availability in red right here, as you can see in the chart. So for performance, we have a 66% that we are also in red, as you can see here in the chart, that we are minus 83%. So we are also in red. So for the quality, we have 100%, obviously, because um, the quality of the work that we perform is up to date and we do not have such um, depreciation in this part. So there we have complete we are in green for our quality that we can see right here so once all these availability performance and quality yields have been calculated we can then um calculate the whole um overall effective equipment effectiveness that we see here we have a 54 percent so we are right in red as well so the main purpose of this whole um uh, co data collection is to improve this 54 to at least a 90-95%. So in counter problems we have encountered the lack of availability uh, to study and analyze. Why is this? Because during the COVID-19 outbreak the company has increased its workforce. Um, why? Because once every single uh, the population it's in their house is trying to uh, maintain social distances, we have availability to work on the streets without the population bothering us, without interrupting any type of um, uh, event, traffic, and whatnot. So the availability, availability for the equipment was not so much. So another problem we encountered was the COVID-19 outbreak in Puerto Rico. So the third one we encountered was that we had limited um, personnel working on this project due to the company safeguarding them and social distancing and not being um, exposed to the COVID-19. So in conclusion, uh, the team have encountered many problems, many obstacles, many roadblocks, many detours, but the main goal was always the same. It was to work either was a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, but every day stay consistent. And by staying consistent, we have accomplished uh, and completed milestones that were proposed in the schedule at the beginning of this project. So by that, that, by that being said, we have been 100% um, on top of what we're doing, 100% on top of our milestones, and I can say that we are on track to complete this project and to implement a very robust system, a very robust plan that can create lots and lots of revenue in order to um, cater to our, towards our employees uh, to benefits. So by this being said, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, we're open to any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.